Hi, this video contains detailed information regarding the experimental investigation and optimization of material removal rate for turning operation by varying the machining parameters as per the Taguchi design. We have taken three parameters in our study, speed, feet, depth of cut, each of them at two levels. The levels are given there like 400, 800, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.25 and 0 0.35. The response variable is material removal rate. The statistical technique used for making the experimental design is as per the Taguchi design. We can also apply their 2K factorial de design that will give us main effect as well as interaction effect. However, our aim is to now gain more knowledge on different statistical techniques. The experimentation is performed on an aluminum rod on a CNC lathe machine that whose origin is from Boxford, UK. These are the few images that I show you about the machine and the workpiece. Mini tab will be used for making the experimental design. So go to stat, DOE, Taguchi, create a Taguchi design. We have a two level design because each of the parameter is at two levels. Number of factors, three, design. So here a lot of designs are available to us. So we will select L8. Why not F L4? Because in the L4 we have only four treatments. I mean four experimental runs. So there will be a total of three degree of freedom. Each degree of freedom will be used by the parameter, and there will be no degree of freedom left for the error term. So we can't calculate the F and P value. So that's why we will opt L8. L8 is basically in, it involves two replications of L4. In simple words. Each treatment in the L4 has been replicated twice and it will make L8. Likewise, in the L12, each treatment of L4 has been replicated three times. Click OK and then go to the factors. Right here, the name of the factor, speed, then, sorry, speed, feed rate, then depth of cut. So you have written the name, now write the levels. So I have the level 400, then interspace, then 800. After that, the feed rate levels are 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. So 0 0.05, space 0 0.1, and here depth of cut is 0 0.25, space 0 0.35. After entering this information, click OK, and then go to options, store the design in the worksheet click ok and then ok so you will get such a design so view only the data set click here data only right here mrr or write full material now based upon this design i have performed the experiments the weight of each specimen is measured before and after machining on a wave machine you can see here 78.17 grams and after machining weight is 78.01 grams. Further, a vernier caliper has been used to measure the diameter of the job so that we can enter it correctly in the machine. This is the CNC program using, by using G and M codes for the machining. Before performing the operation, we have also performed a numerical simulation and we have calculated the time. The formula used for the calculation of material removal rate is equal to WB weight before machining minus weight A weight after machining. P is the row basically in the atomic form I have written. This is the density of the aluminium we have taken and TM is the machining time. Machining time for each run has been calculated by using the stopwatch. The row density of the aluminium value is 0 0.0027. Based upon all these values, we have computed the material removal rate. For each of the operation, the weight is measured has been measured before and after. Further, it is obvious to you people that you can see the treatment number 1 and treatment number 2, they have same setting 400, 0 0.05, 0 0.25. Likewise, treatment 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, they are they have the same settings so once we have done with the data collection now it's time to do data analysis so go to stat then go to doe sorry then go to anova glm fit a general linear model select the response variable mrr factors are speed feed rate depth of cut click on graph 
4 in 1, click OK, go to the stepwise and then select forward selection. This option will help us to remove if any factor is found to be insignificant. Click OK and then click OK. As per the analysis of variance table, we got our p value for all three factors is less than 0 0.05. It depicts that over three parameters that have that we have taken in our study are found to be statistically significant. And they are explaining 99.97% variation in the material removal rate. Further, these four graphs depicting that the data is for found to be somehow normally distributed, no patterns are found, the data is independent from each other and the second table fitted value versus residual, it is depicting that the variation in the data is found to be statistically same because the number of points above this dotted line are equal to number of points below this dotted line. After doing all, all this, the most important thing is the optimization of the data. So go to STAT, DOE, Taguchi, analyze Taguchi design, select your response variable, MRR, here go to the options, select larger is the better. Why? Because those quality characteristics such as material removal rate that we want to maximize, so we will keep our criteria larger is the better. And for those quality characteristics just like surface roughness, we want to minimize that or we want to minimize the friction forces. So in that case, we will select smaller is the better. So we have already selected larger is the better. Click OK and then go to the graph. Here select on signal to two graph, two types of graphs, signal to nice ratio plots and means of plot. Then click OK in the click on storage and then click on signal to nice ratios. Click OK and then OK. So then click on output only so based upon these tables first of all we will see that a new column has been made with the name snra signal to noise ratios so we will search the highest signal to noise ratio we got highest signal to noise ratio of 14.6799 at the setting 800 0 0.1 and 0 0.25 so we found that in our taguchi design this setting is maximizing the material removal rate. So we will select this. Further, we got these graphs. So these graphs are depicting that with the increase in speed, with the increase in feed rate, and with the increase in depth of cut, our material removal rate is increasing. Now these two tables are very important. These tables are response table for signal to noise ratio. These table will help us to rank the parameters. So we see that the based upon this delta value. The delta value has been calculated by subtracting the minimum value from the maximum. And the highest delta value will be ranked as first. So speed has the highest influence on the material removal rate followed by feed rate and then depth of cut. The second thing that we get from this response table is the optimum setting that will be a global optimum maybe that setting not present in the taguchi design so you can see the highest mean is at level 2 for the speed 13.562 highest level is again for the feed rate level 2 13.370 and same for the depth of cut the highest material removal rate is obtained at depth of cut level 2 that is equal to 12.253 so we will say that speed level 2, feed rate level 2 and depth of cut level 2 is a setting that will maximize the material removal rate. So that was all about today's experiments. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.